I actually did a table read uh, several in one of the first drafts. So maybe a few years back, he had one of the early drafts. I came in, I read for it, and he just, you know, I believe once once I did that, he just wanted me in this movie really bad. And so once he got the movie lined up, uh, he called me and was like, "Come on, man, you gotta be in this movie." And I, I didn't even think I had the time. And he was like, "We're gonna work it out. We're gonna shoot around whenever you can do this movie. We're gonna make it happen." And so uh, that's what he did, and I was really glad to be a part of it, man. It's fun. I played Jazzy D. So Jazzy D is anybody who's kind of come up in the you know the 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 late nineties, nineteen nineties, and the, the early two thousands. We all knew this guy. That's like a uh, he's a slash promoter. He's maybe a ex ex street hustler, drug dealer kind of dude. And now he wants to be a businessman, and he believes that he can take you to the next level. And that's who I play. I play Jazzy D. I'm supposed to take Chris to the top, and I take him straight to the bottom. Loose and fun, man. I mean, one, I mean, you know, as a director, Chris was really well prepared, which, uh, you know, I like, you know, because, you know, you don't want people to take their fame and their celebrity and say, okay, now I'm a director. He cared about what he was shooting, so he had his shots prepared. And at the same time, it was loose, man. He he got you as an actor. He wanted you to have fun. He wanted you to have a good time so that, you know, he can uh, take the movie and do what he did with it. I think we respect him as uh, one of the best writers in the business. Uh, of course, he just uh, built a really solid career. He's one of these, you know, the top comedians out there that does what he what he does. And so uh, that uh, alone was something that you care about. And then you know that his passion about this project was one that he wanted to win. And he he says it himself. He needed a win, and I was glad to be there to you know to be able to throw a bounce pass or two. You know. Well, one, it is some just, it's big laughs throughout this movie. Like, all the way through this movie is great laughs, but I think people are going to be surprised at the amount of heart, uh, the amount of great story in here, how, uh, sub, you know, substance uh, of, of modern day uh, things that are going on in the world with reality shows and stars and what they go through. Uh, I think that people are going to be quite surprised by that aspect of the movie. And then it's going to be one of these things that every time you think about it, you'll find a new laugh so you'll have to see it twice you have to see it three times and uh you and you should see it with friends where you can have the shared experience of oh you remember that part and i think that's what people are going to love about this movie